Welcome back to my channel. We have a 2006 Hyundai Sonata with the timing tensioner problem. This is proof that you can get it done without removing the engine. Some say you have to remove the engine and others say that you have to remove the alternator, compressor and the steering pump in order to be able to remove the cover. Well, I was able to remove it without removing any channels. See, everything is snug in place. Focus. So, this is the compressor, this is the alternator, everything is in place. And this is the steering pump right here. So, everything is in place. And I'm about to replace the tensioners, the chains, the sprockets, the guides, everything on this engine. And also do the water pump since uh, I'm already in there. I'm gonna do the water pump, it's a good idea. So, this is a this is the diagram, the diagram for, uh, for the timing. So, this is how I'm gonna align everything when I replace the parts. This is what I'm using. I have new chains, new tensioners in here. Um, not sure if I can do it by one hand, especially with the gloves. Yep. New tensioners right here. Come on, come on, come on. This is new tensioner. I have another one here. I also have rockets, guides, everything is in here. I will be replacing everything with new parts and put everything back together. This is uh, the timing cover. No visible damage from the chain. I've seen some of these with damage from the chain rattling on engine start. But this one doesn't have any, any damage on it. Nothing at all. Nothing. So... This is the, the tensioner that goes bad. It's this one right here. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's this one right here. The one in the back is good. It's only the one in the front that is bad. But as a precaution, I will change everything. The chains, tensioners, guides, sprockets, everything. Since I'm in, I'm in here already. So this is proof that you can get it out without removing the engine, without removing the alternator without removing the EC compressor, the steering pump, nothing at all. All you need to do is uh, loosen the bolts on the transmission mount right here. This is transmission mount. Right down here, all you need is loosen the bolt, take off the mount, the engine mount right here, jack up the engine from the front, and then you will have enough room. I mean, I mean, it's more than enough. It's more than enough to work in here. See, see how much room. It was really easy to get it out. All right, guys. Good luck.